Welcome to chapter 17 where we're going to in fact draw a triangle. I realise I've left draw a line up here in the, um, in the title, so let's change that. So we're going to draw a triangle. Let's have a look at the code. The code for drawing a triangle is actually very much like drawing a line. So um, draw, draw triangle, uh, draw image, draw line, draw text, draw triangle. Okay, so comma. Now as we see over here, x1 and y1. So that's one point of the triangle, x2, y2, second point of the triangle, x3, y3, third point of the triangle. So you're saying where the 1, 2 and 3, where the three points of the triangle are. So in fact, let's start. So let's start it up at 50, 50. So that's 50 pixels out, 50 pixels down. And then we're going to move two or 50 pixels out and 200 pixels down. And then we're going to have the third point of the triangle, let's say 200 pixels out and 200 pixels down. Now, you will get used to this the more you do it. I am doing it fairly quickly because I've done it before. But what you've got is the pairs of coordinates for the corners of the triangle. So the first two are where it starts, 50 and 50. So 50 pixels out, 50 pixels down. Second set of numbers oops, is 50 pixels across and 200 pixels down. And the final pair of numbers is the final point. So 200 pixels out, 200 pixels down. And let's have a quick look at that. There we go. That's very much what I expected. So if we have a look, you'll see that's at 50, 50. So 50 out and 50 down. The next point is 50 out and 200 down. And the next one is 200, 200. So it's 200 pixels down and 200 pixels across. Now, I want to show you another very good trick. Similar to the draw triangle, and this goes for all of these, is the fill triangle. So watch what it does if we go the fill triangle. We run it, and there's that same triangle, but it's a coloured block. And if you change your brush colour, so let's go to graphics window, graphics window, brush colour equals, say, yellow, and I better put that in inverted commas. When we run this, I imagine that that will be a yellow triangle. So you can not just draw these shapes, you can also paint them. So if you have them fill, you change the, um, the brush colour. If it's just a line, you change the pen colour. So it is your turn to code. Here's what you're going to do. And this is a little bit tricky, so pay attention. You are going to create me a red triangle, and it's going to be 100 pixels from top to bottom, and it's going to be 100 pixels across the bottom. So the width of this triangle is going to be 100 pixels, and the height of this triangle is going to be 100 pixels. And there's a really easy way to do this, and there's probably slightly harder ways. But have a go at it. You should be able to do it making very small changes to this code. I would, in fact, say only changing lines 5 and 6. Um, and I will see you in Part B if you need it. But I actually think this one's pretty straightforward.